So guys, now it's a time to understand the CPU registers. So we are just one step away from understanding the mechanism of function call and function returns. In order to understand procedure call and return mechanism, we need to understand the purpose of basic three registers which are used to implement the mechanism of procedure call and returns. So we have these three registers. The first register is called instruction pointer register. This register stores the address of very next instruction to be executed. In some implementation, this register can also be used to store the address of current instruction which is being executed. If that is the case, we simply add 1 to the value of this instruction pointer which gives us the address of the next instruction which will execute next. So the same goal, that is knowing the very next instruction to be executed can be achieved by either of the policies. Then the second register is a stack pointer register. Stack pointer register always stores the address of top of the stack, right? That is the lowest address of the stack memory. And the third register is a base pointer register. Base pointer register stores the starting address in colleague's stack frame where caller's base pointer value is copied. So basically base pointer register is used to store the history. So I'm sure you have not yet understood base pointer register. So next we will going to understand the usage of all these three registers with the help of an example. So just have the definition of these three registers in mind. We will apply these definitions in the next example that we will going to discuss. And now let us understand that how these three basic registers are used. Also note that there are only one instance of these registers per CPU. These registers are not per frame. These registers are actual piece of small hardware chips which are embedded on your motherboard. Right? So these registers are same as memory which stores the data. The only difference is that registers are more quickly accessible to the CPU as compared to the RAM memory. So for those operations which CPU needs to perform millions of times per second, those operations is performed by CPU with the help of registers. So these three registers are per CPU and not per frame. So it means that these are global registers. So now let us discuss the usage of these three registers and understand that how these three registers supports procedure call and procedure return.